Hi everyone. Today I'll be starting a new series of videos called CodeBite, where I'll be showing you some programming tips and tricks that I've come across during my everyday work and experimentation. In our first episode, we'll talk about the top helper method in Laravel. So, what is this tab helper and most importantly, how we can benefit from it? Let's consider the following code fragment. Here we create a new user model, save it and then return the model back to the caller. However, we had to use a temporary variable to do so as the save method only returns boolean value. To get around this, we can utilize the tab helper where as a first parameter we will send a newly created model and we will set a callback where we call the save method. As you can see, we got rid of the temporary variable, but some can argue that there is not much difference in the two versions. The real power of top comes into view in occasions like this where we only have one action in the callback with the use of the higher order top proxy class that the top method uses internally. What the class does is it allows for any method of an object to be called and to always return the object itself. So we can now rewrite the same method just as a single line. Isn't that nice? Let's see how all of this is working internally. As you can see, the method accepts two parameters, value and callback. The first one is any argument that we want, and the second one is an optional callback. When the callback is provided, it is being called with the value as a parameter and it then returns the value back. Let's see some examples on how tab is used within Laravel. One such example is this create method from the eloquent builder class. Here, in this small block of code, we're creating a new model instance, saving that model and returning it back to the caller. Without the tab helper, we should have another temporary variable where the instance should have been kept and then returned after the call to the save method that returns a boolean. When no callback is provided, the top method will create an instance of the higher order top proxy class, passing the value in the constructor. This class implements only one magic method, call, that is triggered when we invoke inaccessible methods in an object contents. In other words, it allows us to call any method on the higher order top proxy class even though they don't exist. Like in the previous example, where we call the save method, since it does not directly exist, call was the one to accept the invocation. Once invoked, it gets both in the method and the parameters sent to it, so it redirects the call to the underlying target object that we sent in the constructor, and it turns the target object. If we explore the Laravel core, we can see plenty of places of tap being used. I'll leave links down to the description to some additional resources for the helper that you can check with an even more examples. As Taylor said in his article on Medium, Tap is a very simple helper, but it allows for some very nice single line operations that usually require temporary variables. If you have any such examples, I would love to hear about them in the comments. I hope you liked this video, so hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. Cheers and thanks for watching.